Hi guys, a couple of weeks ago I did a video of me disassembling my daughter's dishwasher and salvaging various bits out of it. Haven't done anything with them yet. This is the main electric motor. Um, it's got a bit of water damage on it but it's got some nice looking coils inside that I'm sure will be useful for something. Um, I can probably make a generator out of it or something with a bit of um, fiddling around. It's a 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz, 75 watts. But I'm not going to do anything to that today, so I'll put that back in the box. This thing looks quite interesting. It's some sort of water pump or something from inside the dishwasher. Um, it's got a lovely coil on it. I'm not quite sure what that is. Probably a thermal cutout or something. But I've just popped that diode across the terminals. Diode, LED. And it doesn't take much to get that to flash. See I'm not even spinning it, I'm just flicking it a bit. And we're getting a good flash off that LED. So I'm guessing that that's definitely worth um, exploring, doing something with. But I shall leave that alone for now. If, at the very least, it's two very nice looking coils. And there must be a magnet in there, I would think. Because that, that sort of flicks round between magnetic poles. So that will go back in the box. And that leaves us with these, which are solenoids, um, switches that open and close water valves and things like that. They're all 230 volts. I was rather hoping I'd be able to use them with 12 volt DC batteries but not a hope if they're 230 volts AC. But they look interesting. This one I've already taken apart so That would have been in the middle there. And that's the little valve that it was opening and closing. So there must be a coil in there. It's very high resistance. About, well, about 3k resistance, 3.7, so it's probably 4k. Let's just try another one. That's giving us nothing. Okay, let's try something else. Yeah, that's about the same. That's a little bit higher, 4.3k. Not quite sure why that one's given us nothing. Looks the same. Nope, that doesn't want to give us anything. So we'll leave that one for a minute. So 
So yeah, that one's about about 4k resistance. If we go up to the voltage scale. So we're generating some millivolts there. Let's go on volts. So just by putting a metal core through it, I'm generating some millivolts. Don't know if anybody's got any suggestions what I can do with these. I want to do something fairly simple. I might just do use a couple of them, make a jewel thief or something like that, see if that works. Yeah. Might have a go at that, see if I can just rig up a little jewel thief just so I can show that they do something useful. Okay guys, I've made myself a little um, jewel thief. It's actually um, based on Lid Motors Penny circuit. So I guess I could put a link to that so you can see his. Um, it's not terribly effective. But it does at least mean I can do something with these solenoid coils. If I put them the right way round, as you can see, the LED comes alight. I can move them apart, and it just goes dim, together, brighter, turn it the wrong way up so it's opposing, and the light goes out. So, not a terribly exciting circuit but at least it's something to do with those solenoids. So if somebody can point me at a better um, project to do with these solenoid coils, remember they're 240 volts, and I'm using them to use a 1.5 volt battery to light my LED. Um, so hey, nothing special. I'm a bit of a loss to think what to do with them because they look nice, but uh, I don't know what to do with them, so give us some suggestions.